Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean, and I have one question. Could you tell that I worked out at CrossFit Darkside if I never said anything about it? Do you think they would know, or do I need more stuff? So I've decided to do class today. I've been doing a different programming that I'll talk all about later, but today I decided to do class because it's technically a rest day for the programming and it's Christmas week and it just throws everything off and it's super weird. So that means we got one rep max deadlift and look who decided to join my class. <laughs> yeah, right. So like I said, I've been doing Misfit. I've been doing it for like two weeks, three weeks now. I'm really enjoying it. Christmas was on Tuesday and they programmed a workout, but I wasn't gonna work out on Christmas. And so today's rest day and I could do Tuesdays or I could do dark sides, which just happens to be a one rep max deadlift. <laughs> I guess we're maxing out on rest day. Okay, so I'm coming at you from the future to talk about this workout because I didn't have enough time in between the deadlifts and the workout to talk about the workout. Essentially, I tried the deadlift. I tried to do three, four, 50 a couple times and was not able to get it. And then I was like, oh, I'll go for 445 and was not able to get it. So that was extremely frustrating to say the least. But I got 435 up for one, which is still incredible from what I used to be able to do to where I'm at now. You just uh, enjoying walking around? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Would I have liked 450? Of course, because that's like a fun number. But 435, super good. Super excited with the 435 deadlift. And then the workout was 21, 15, 9. Power, hang power snatches and handstand push-ups plus 3, 2, 1 rope climbs in the middle of that. And um, disclaimer, also didn't go as well as I wanted. Three, two. From the begin, I never wanted us to end You said that we could be friends, I think that is what up me in Wanted to rush in, I didn't know a thing about you But that's the thing about you, make me wanna rap about you I don't know about the ring, but I can't live without you And I don't trust you that much, and it might appear I doubt you On some days you feel more like an investment Everything I waited for, you the one that I adore It's true, I love you more than a world tour Take you on the road, sneak you in through the back door I know you thinking this is not what I signed up for you gotta weather the storm for the encore And even if it's for one night, I still gotta go You know that, so stop acting like you don't know No, it's not a slogan or a motto But everything comes to an end, even you, my friend And you on the friends of mine Thanks, bro. 
Okay, so, so I learned something about myself during that workout, which is good. If you can learn something about yourself during a workout, then it's not a failure. And I still finished the workout under the time cap, but it was a lot. Uh, I think I'm better at handstand push-ups than I give myself credit for because that last set, I was able to like bang out the final nine, like fast. And those were my fastest handstand push-ups because I had a clock, I was like, I didn't want to get time capped. And so all the other ones, I'm going really slow, I'm going really methodical, and I think that's like, I'm like doing like negative handstand push-up, like I'm like wearing my shoulders out, or if I just bang them out, I should have more confidence in that. So, we're out. I wish it, I wish it went better, but those last handstand push-ups were awesome, and I feel really good about them. So, check, 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 check. All right. I'm being a guest host today on the Work for Change podcast. <laughs> First and last time. <laughs> we just sat down here. We're getting ready to do the podcast with special guest host <laughs> Sam Hale. She's just over there in the background. She just likes to be in the background of all my clips, you know? Gets you the views, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, like, it's crazy. It just goes to show, like, little steps how much they... Like, you don't... You're not on your phone like, oh, this is probably hour 17 on Instagram. Yeah. You don't think that. Yeah. You're thinking this is five minutes while I'm while this, I'm in an elevator. That's the longest elevator <laughs> ride ever. Yeah. Like the one at my work. Yeah. <laughs> I literally am the king of terrible. You are. You're the you worst. are. Gosh, why are they the first thing that come to my Good mind? Good thing you're not a host of a podcast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, um, but it's, you know, it's just those little moments where you're like, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on this, I'm on this. And then you get your screen time report and you're like, yes. 17 That's hours. Disgusting. Yeah. yeah. It's disgusting. I, oh, oh, I don't like that report. Yeah. But uh, so my Instagram ones are like eight hours. I don't want to judge you. But like <laughs> even that, I'm like, I spent a work day on Instagram. Yeah. I spent an entire work day on Instagram. Yeah. My screen time was down 30%. Yeah, mine was not down. Not to brag. <laughs> this week, it was down 42%. Yeah, mine's, mine's been down. 42%. Mine's we been hung out with you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> mine's been consistently going down. Yeah. Um, one, I, I love that they did that. I love that yeah. they added that on there. I do, but at the same time, I don't. Yeah. All right, so we just finished the podcast. And Sam, how do you think it went? I think it went well. Tell me how it went, if anyone listens. I was a guest star today. I was nervous because it's not like YouTube where you can edit out stuff. Yeah, I mean, the whole unedited thing is, like, up and live and for everyone to judge you. So, no pressure. 